get caught up in amplifying a challenge we're experiencing to a state of suffering for ourselves. So what do I mean by that? I say all the time to my clients, pain times resistance equals suffering. Pain is all the challenges in life and pain is inevitable in life. It's all those experiences that bring challenge to us, us, whether it's a internal or an external challenge. What do I mean by internal and external? Internal challenge is your emotional triggers, things that cause you to bring programming, belief into this present moment internally. External challenge, deadlines, dynamics in our relationships, family, friends, coworkers. When we push against the natural flow, the, the, the natural flow of harmony, peace, a sense of contentment and joy and happiness, a feeling of being in alignment, which is love, the love vibration. When we aren't in flow, that's when suffering really occurs. We're pushing against. It's easier said than done, no doubt. And it takes extreme awareness of self, of your triggers, of your, you know, taking in that current situation you're in or experience with a fresh lens, noticing when you bring previous baggage into the present moment. This is how this person made me feel. This is how uh, they react. This is ha ha what they do. And you bring repetitive thought that creates a belief system into this present moment. It really amplifies that challenge to a suffering state of being. And how can we live aware of what our triggers are that actually activate these thought patterns. Hurt people hurt people. Now, we don't deliberately set out to hurt others. Not, you know, I know that there are some people that create pain. Most of the time we create pain unconsciously. Hurt people hurt people. Isn't that the masses? So how can I bring a state of healing for myself, activating a love, joy, peace, high vibration, Dr. David Hawkins' model of, of uh, power versus force. How can I bring that type of energy into my challenges? That is the state of flow. And that should be our ultimate goal. How do we do that? By learning to understand aspects of self. Understand what emotions, what beliefs we're bringing in to that present moment experience. Experiences in life teach us so much about ourselves. Every dynamic is student, teacher, teacher, student. They have something to teach us in every moment. Some experiences more than others. But you walk away from every dynamic with a lesson and you impart a lesson. Student, teacher, teacher, student. If we're only aware. So there's a beautiful exercise that I'd love to share. In these challenging situations and experiences, this practice can help you stay open to really seeing that challenge for what it is. O 
It's the acronym OPEN, O-P-E-N. O, open to whatever is showing up, including differing opinions. You don't have to agree with, like, but you have to accept that there's another viewpoint. You have to allow that people have other opinions. P, pause, to hear and feel. This holds so much wisdom for you. Am I pushing against? Am I amplifying this situation to a suffering experience when it only is a challenge? How can I pause here, not attach to what's being exchanged here and feel how I'm feeling? Understanding myself from an emotional perspective, the thoughts I'm creating that are creating a belief system and what my body physical sensations are telling me. E, engage awareness by being curious about any of your bodily sensations, your emotions and thoughts. You're getting really curious about what that challenge is teaching you. And you're open to allowing that experience to teach you something about yourself. And then in, notice the benefits of exploring a wider view. If we get out of that reactionary state of being and be able to take in a greater perspective so that we can see not only their opinion, not only their feelings, but also honoring ours and understanding ours. This comes with, with great um, diligence on your part. It takes effort and we know we get stronger and better at the things we practice. So I encourage you to practice this open exercise in mindful awareness in those times of challenge. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on how it worked. Recap, open to what O, open to whatever shows up, including different opinions. P, pause to hear and feel. E, engage awareness by being really curious about what's going on internally and how you're processing your external experience. N, notice the benefits of exploring a wider view. My clients hear me say, come out of the weeds, get up on the hilltop, detach from the situation, observe, encourage yourself to heal those emotions that are triggering for you, that are creating emotional attachment so you can see a greater perspective and avoid amplifying that challenge to a suffering state of being. Till next time.